I'm no different than any other Japanese American person here in Los Angeles. Work as an artist, run errands, and I pay my bills, just like everyone else. But sometimes, when the day is done and the opportunity arises, I open my secret little restaurant. It's there I discover who I truly am, one dish at a time. I call that place the Shokudo. Hi everybody, welcome to the Shokudo. My name is John Kenzo Okea, and today we are joined with a very special guest, Joe Belly. Today we are doing the VJCC style udon. VJCC is the Venice Japanese Community Center. Yes, I've had this udon since I was a child, so I'm like super excited to get into it. Thank you, Joe, for joining us, and uh, let's get to it. Let's go, let's go. All right. Cut it into three Here, I'm going to cut this one and then cut it to three. Um, i got to remember how to do this. I haven't done this in four years. Let me see. <laughs> did I, I'm trying to remember. Did I have one, two? Yes. One, two. You have nine pieces. I want nine pieces. Four by eight, yeah. <laughs> I'm a world famous chef, you know. <laughs> Isaac Hirano, that's the guy who was the uh, president at the time. Uh huh. He asked me if, hey, would you take over? Uh, would you take over the uh, dashi making? I said, yeah, no problem. That was the end you're of our you're conversation. Just, you're just like, yeah, let's do it. I had no idea what I was getting into. Yeah. Oh. But so I pinpointed another guy that was there. That was June Ayama. I said, June, you're in with me. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was like he asked me in like May, and the June festival came along, and off we go. And that's 1999, and wow. here we are. You know, twenty-ish years later, uh, and, and uh, we have not—we still do the same recipe. Everything is exactly the same. So. Wow! We got the recipe from uh, George Asawa. George spent years and years and years developing a very fast, um, easy, yeah. um, uh, mistake-proof uh, dashi. Wow! And so he—I don't know how many years he did it, but he, I think he even had a. a um, a, dash, a, a noodle shop at one time, and he gave uh, myself and Jun Oyama the recipe, and he gave it to us verbally, and it was in ounces, grams, kilograms, um, pounds. It was all these different different measurements. Right. Stuff. One of his instructions was to oh. put put a stick in the pot and fill it with water up to the line on the stick. <laughs> and he didn't tell you which pot, and he didn't tell Joe which stick. There's the stick that I marked. I, I marked that stick, okay? <laughs> but you gotta put it in the correct pot because you, who knows what to have. It literally took three or four years to figure out what pot, you know, I mean, it's... Uh... There's one here and one there. This is what the five uh, gallon stick is, is, is calibrated against. So these are the two stainless steel ones. And so June and I literally wrote the, wrote the, um, the uh, recipe down on the back of a napkin. Uh -huh. And But I didn't know this was the real thing. He was handing it to us that Shh. night on a Thursday night before the, the actually it was a Friday night before the festival. Yeah. And so we wrote all this stuff down and he, George, worked with us that one time and that's the recipe that George gave us, and it, it's a it's a very simple, delicious, absolutely delicious recipe, and it's it's a it's a uh, fish and seaweed base. And so here we are today, 25 years, 23 years later, and this is the actual recipe itself. Um, it's a secret recipe, but uh, but it's been published in the raw. Food. Yeah, yeah, it's a secret <laughs> recipe. I started writing things down, and this is the book that I've been working on for years and years and years, uh, so that I can remember what the heck we're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Man. and, and I want to make sure that, that whoever takes over in years to come, you know, can, can, can stay true to the Venice Japanese Community Center's way of doing things, Absolutely. and to honor George Asawa, who's yeah. really the, the, the father of this thing, of this recipe. <laughs> Normally I make five gallons at a time, and so making you yeah. know, five cups at a time is going to be a little bit challenging for me. Yeah. 
but it's okay. We're going to figure it out together. We, we will absolutely figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to be doing some guesswork here because we're ba basically what, whatever the whatever the ratio is, yeah. um, five gallons to fifty ounces. Yeah. And I know there's a good mathematical equation to, to get out of that. Yeah. I'm not smart enough today to oh, don't figure worry. that out. I'm not we'll smart any out. day, so don't <laughs> worry about that. My industrial <laughs> package of kombu, which is uh, seaweed. It's, I think everybody's familiar with that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, the, the very first thing I, I always do, because this is the way George Asawa had done it, and, he showed, and I do it exactly the way he did it, because I don't know what I'm going to get if I don't. Ah. So what we do is we'll go ahead and put in the uh, kombu. Wow. So we're going to tear off a piece. Wow. And make it into two or three strips. We'll put that one in. All right, sounds good. I heard I heard something that people do is they wash the white stuff. You don't want to wash the white stuff. I've never that's washed the, the white stuff off. That's never. I have no idea what the white stuff is, but I've never washed it off. I feel like that's where the flavor comes from. I, I would think go. so. Yeah. Right? If I'm remembering correctly, one year at the community center, we ran out of kombu. Somehow I didn't order enough. And so I was telling one of the guys, uh, Kenji Koda, who is a past president of the community center, I said, oh, I ran out of kombu. I said, where do I buy kombu? I, I, you know, I don't even know if Mitsuo was there. I said, oh, I got some at the house. He went home, we went over to his house, and he had some nailed to his garage. What? Inside his garage, yeah, nailed to the wall. Like, so we pulled it down, we took it down, and everything was fine. Legit. So he saved the day. Oh, that's he, amazing. He really saved the day. Okay. 200 grams. 200 grams. Let's try 20 gra grams and see what, l let me see how much that is. All right, let's see where we go. 20. Um, yeah, that works. That, that works. 22. When I'm making five gallons, I'm putting in 200 grams. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and try it. Let's see what it does. does. Does this feel like it's not right in your heart because you always put like a lot or you're all right? <laughs> no, I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> okay, Absolutely. let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Okay. And so we're going to dump that in there. All right, there it you feels go. feels like it should be a little bit more, but I'm okay with that. Okay. And I want you to turn it down to a simmer. Okay. Sounds Just to a simmer. Okay. And within the first two go. or three minutes, it's going to get a, a foam on top. And if I don't see that foam, I may add a touch more of the uh, dust, dust the sheet. granulated, granulated dust sheet. So the foam. Let me see if the foam, if it's going to come up on us. So the foam comes from the dust sheet. Uh, yeah, that's when I usually get it. So I'm going to just, I'm going to put in another. Oh yes, please. Another, another three or four grams. Yeah. And we'll mix it up a little bit. And when, when it, it, it'll bubble up and it'll kind of foam up. So when I'm making five gallons. We're actually, we have so much foam on top, I'm skimming that off because George Asawa told me it makes it a little bit bitter if you don't get those bubbles off. Oh. But we have so little going on here. And so now we will let that simmer. Uh -huh. uh, and that's about the right temperature. And we'll that si let that simmer for 30 minutes. Okay. okay. I, surprisingly, mm -hmm. I joined the Venice Japanese Community Center in about 1962, not yeah. knowing this is where I'd end up in yeah. 2022 or where 23 or wherever we are. Yeah. And um, and I, the reason I joined is uh, you had to become a member because I was in judo there. Oh. And so the Venice uh, Venice Japanese Community Center had a pretty strong judo program, and I didn't I wasn't involved in other parts. I I don't even think I knew there was a festival like yeah. women, our family, but uh, there were a lot of boys on my, the street I grew up on, Juniette right. Street, very close by. Yeah. And so uh, one of the moms had discovered that the community center offered judo. The gym wasn't there back then, so the, the, the judo dojo was a wooden building. Yeah. And I remember it was so much fun because the all the windows had chain link fence on the windows on the inside so that when a kid, usually kids, were thrown into a window, you'd bounce back off, you wouldn't go oh. through the window. Going along, I, my son, who was about eight years old, all of a sudden out of nowhere, he said, gee, I want to take judo. So I opened my closet and there is my yeah, judo gi. You're ready. My 30 year old judo gi. So I said, yeah, no problem, let's go. You know, it's kind of like this recipe. It's just this tradition that, that really, to me, 
really glues this community together. That's awesome. You know, so I've lived around here my entire life. Yeah. And so I had this little stint at the Venice Japanese Community Center yeah. very early on. And then, you know, you go along and you go to school and you get married and you have children and all of a sudden, here we are back again. And now my grandchildren are going through the community center. And I think it's very important that they see the example of of all that camaraderie and all those friends and and, and, the, and for the uh, Odori dance, you know, all the girls get to get dressed up and people wearing all their hoppy coats and all the other things they're doing. Um, it just makes it really, really fun. You know, it, it just, it's just a fun thing. And the kids, I'm, I'm finding my, my kids and my grandchildren um, identify very much with the Japanese American community. But the Japanese American community around here has really stuck together like blue. I'm, I'm uh, really, pleasantly surprised to see everybody sticking together still yeah. and it still goes on and it's still Bonita is uh, yeah. Honkatsuo. Honkatsuo. Uh, you, you may have to help uh, me out. Honkatsuo Kezuribushi. <laughs> In that voice. Yes. Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> yeah. I like this brand. Uh, I only know I like this brand is is, is because I've used other brands and it isn't yeah. as good as this. So this has been a real important ingredient in, in making of the Venice Japanese Community Center dashi. And so if we get lost and we forget what brand we use, we yes. have it in our little book here, and that'll that'll help us uh, help us remember. So this. thorough, geez, yeah. Mathematically, we should put twelve in, but let's go fifteen. Okay, fourteen, uh, sixteen. Hey. Is that all right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. What's very interesting is something just came to mind. We probably should have started off with a little bit less water. Really? Yeah, we should possibly because we're really, with the amount of water that's in here, we're really building a little bit larger batch. So okay. um, I'm not going to sweat it. Yeah, I'm yeah. just aware of it. I'm yeah. aware. We, may, we may actually add a little bit more shoyu to help it along. Right. The, the, this, all this other stuff is fine. Why don't, oh. why don't we run that up to 20 grams? 20 grams. 20, 20 grams, I think Let's we'll do it. Fine. As, as we did with the dashi no moto, we put a little bit extra in there too. Sweet. Um, yeah, just, yeah. just even just dump it right in, Sweet. it'll be fine. Let's do it. I'll throw in one more little story. Uh, uh, probably my second or third year, Juno Yama and I are the guys putting this all together. And it's not us alone, we had, um, five dashi chefs for Saturday, five dashi chefs for Sunday, so that nobody had to work 12 hour days. You know, yeah. a person would put in a two or three hour shift and then they're done. And so we had teams of two people making the dashi. Mm -hmm. And um, one year, and I, I, I didn't know how to take it, but somebody came up, a guy I know from the community center, and, and he's, uh, he's now pretty old, but he's still living. Right. And he said, boy, Joe, the dashi just wasn't very good this year. And I thought, oh, what the heck happened? <laughs> oh, jeez. Because okay. we would pre-mix our, our shoyu, sugar, and medium in a container. And uh -huh. so when we're making it, we're in the heat of battle, we just dump it in, everything's fine. What ended up happening, I finally figured out, is one of the dashi chefs, yeah, I think I know who, but I'm not telling you. <laughs> one of the dashi chefs, <laughs> failed to put in the shoyu in his five get one of the five gallon batches. Oh, I see. So, yeah. the next year, which would have been probably my junior yama in my third year, before you start the batch, you put all of the pre-measured -measure, ingredients in a box. Cool. And so you're cooking and hey, it's time to put in the um, dashi no moto. Yeah. And there's a bag of dashi no moto in this one and one in here. So yeah. if I've already put one in here, this box this box goes with that pan, pot, this goes with this pot. And so you just work your way through and when you run out of ingredients, yeah. you are done. Right. And so, and this really, really made it happen. And then we never, wow. ever, ever left out an ingredient. I like how we're doing all of this in a process of like like instead of like oh we have to pour it like this yeah. to get this instead of doing it like in a cooking way you're doing it in a way where you're like almost like honoring a recipe uh, I, know, am like the way. Ab I am absolutely honoring it's so yeah, cool it's very important and you're gonna just dump it all in there you got it let's try it Beautiful, beautiful. That looks like the stuff. All right, perfect. That looks like you're gonna dump it all out. You got it. Absolutely upside down. All right, here we go. 
All right. Okay, so let's let that kind of sift through a little bit. And if sure. I have my little ladle over here, all of this volunteerism is very, very social. Yeah. And there's and there's a lot of a, a lot of jawboning and there's a lot of tomfoolery and it's really a lot of fun. And and I remember at one time in one of the booths they had a, a, a keg of beer every year for their group. But I had an inside there, so I would bring the servers beer if they wanted beer. And and that made it even more fun. Wow. It probably wasn't real safe because they're dealing with hot <laughs> boiling water, but 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 you know, everybody looked forward to it because it was the kitchen was as, as chaotic as it may have looked to somebody just walking in. Yeah. Um, the kitchen was pretty organized. You know, you had everything all cut in, in trays. The kamabokos all cut and lined up in trays. You need more kamaboko, you go pull it out of the out of the refrigerator. Wow. Done. Uh -huh. And so you showed up. It was like if you were a volunteer yeah. helping paint a building. You show up, they hand you a brush of paint. You're, you're, you're just, done. Yeah. Here's your brush back. See you later. And that was... That's kind of the way the whole thing worked. And so every year people look forward to volunteering in the kitchen and, and yeah. doing this because it gave them a chance to visit. They would talk and they would talk about their kids or their grandchildren or, you know, whatever they're doing, you know. But, yeah. but we were trying to do that because uh, we both realized, as do others, that it has to be fun or people are not going to want to do it. Oh my gosh. And so yeah, it was. Absolutely. It was fun, it was social, it was uh, joking, it was a little bit of beer drinking, even at 7 in the morning. And it was, wow. um, it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. And I do think it helps glue this community together. It, keeps the, it, it does keep this community together. So. Next is um, cooking yeah. sake. So we're gonna, oh, we're so gonna, you don't need too much meat in. No, 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 no. It's oh. three. It's only three ounces for an entire five gallons. Yeah. So, so why don't we oh. dump that in there and All right. see how that goes? Sure. I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Uh, the next ingredient is regular old granulated sugar. Mm -hmm. just, just zero that out. Let's bottom that sure. out, and we'll change this to grams, not milligrams. Okay. So, okay, so what we want is 10, let's do 10 grams and see what happens. Okay, that's okay. fine. fine <laughs> that's be interesting. Let's do it. Yeah, that is okay, perfect. perfect. Okay, so go ahead and dump that one in there. And then the magic ingredient here. And a 0.5. Yeah, so yeah. five. Yeah, that, that, that's starting to feel uh, right. Eight. There you go. That's starting to feel right. It. Nice. Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. Go ahead. Okay, we're going to use this. Okay, this Here is the moment go. of truth. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Let's try it. I'm down. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, really? What do you think? I think it needs a little more shoyu, I think. How, thing, how close thing. are we to like? Um, you try it. Um, okay. You try it. It works. It works. It's a little sweeter than I'm accustomed to, but or what we make at the community center. But that, that's okay. This is a good experiment. Then, then wow. It doesn't taste diluted. It tastes like there's a does lot of flavor taste, in does that. Does that taste pretty good to you? That, that, to me, yeah. it does. I like the <laughs> I, I like the sweet. It's not too. It's not yeah. too sweet. Yeah. Okay. I'm really glad with. Uh, yeah. I'm really happy with it. it. Has a good amount of salt. So yeah, okay. Well, I think this is perfect. Well, to be I yeah, it it it's it's see, I'm I'm I only know one. I've got these I'm tunnel vision. Yeah. I know the stuff that we build we make when we make five gallons at a time, and if it doesn't yeah. taste exactly like that, we're off a of hair. I what? Yeah. Do you think it needs anything? Let's dump a little granulated. I would say, if anything, maybe more katsu. Yeah. And this is great that we didn't empty this out because this is now our little. Cooking sack. <laughs> you can do that. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> it's like a big, oh, it's gonna it's a big tea bag. bag. Yeah, it is a big tea yeah, bag. You're just steeping fish. I think I think our portions were correct. I think that we started off with too much water, and oh. that was my fault for not uh, governing that more closely. Okay. I should have taken the equivalent of five gallons divided uh, divided by ten. Oh. And stuck only that much water in here, we would have not had this much water. Oh, I and so, see. So what's happened is it's all that water's diluted everything, I think. Yeah. And by us 
putting more back in, we're, we're gonna we're gonna get there. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna get there. So by making dashi, we're making just a concentrated flavor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, you be the first guy. Let's see. Oh yeah, a little. That's that's super dashi. Yeah, like I taste the dashi now. The fish is alive good, and well good, in good. this. <laughs> It? Yeah, that's we're it. we're about as close as I think I'm able to get it. <laughs> oh, that's great! Wow, <laughs> nice job. Nice well, job. Well, thank you. Well, thank yeah. you. Thanks for showing yeah. me the process. Okay. okay. So we'll do this. So go ahead and. Pour those noodles in. Okay. Perfect. And we'll, we'll put our our freshly made dashi on. Wow. Looks pretty good to me. And if you have some cool. condiments like some egg and some kamaboko and, yes. and chopped onions that I know so well. Let's do it. Let's plate it. So make, let's make it look pretty. So okay, so make it look pretty. Exactly. How many would you say is a good amount of kamaboko to put? For me? Yeah. Absolutely three. Absolutely three. Absolutely. Whatever you like. We won't go full Osaka green onions. We'll just go, there you go. It's okay. There you go. And you go ahead and try that. Equal See pieces. what you think. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Joe Belly, for showing us the process of making this really uh, amazing, time-tested uh, udon. I really appreciate your time and effort for coming down here and, and sharing this with us. This is a great afternoon. Thanks. Oh, thank very you. fun. Very thank fun. you very much. So we'll go ahead and try this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's okay. do it. Let's do it. Of course, our first test was the uh, the dashi right out of the pot, which was delicious mm -hmm. after, after we fixed it. Let me try this. Mmm. Yeah. That tastes good. Mm -hmm. that, that, is a, that is a very nice full body dashi. Full body. I totally yeah. know yeah. what you're talking yeah. about. Very, very good. Holy mackerel. Yeah. Before I was like, oh, this is perfect. This is this is good. But having this, just fixing the whole dashi yeah. thing, I'm like, oh yeah, this is this is what I remember from childhood. Yeah. No, this is very good. I think one of the things that I got from the process of us cooking together over there, you said earlier, you're like, I want to bring a sense of like um, fun, you know, and and I want a sense of ease into it because that's what a community, you're asking volunteers to help cook udon with you. Yeah, yeah. And I got that feeling though, like it's not like, oh, you're doing it wrong or you gotta place it like this or even in plating, oh, you should you should do it like this. It's like, it's just like, oh, you just, let's, let's grab a handful of dash, let's put it in there. Oh, that looks good. Okay, let's go to the next step. There's a sense, I feel the sense of community through making udon with you. It's just like, oh, let's take it easy. Let's make some nice udon. If we mess up, let's adjust. Let's just keep going, you know? I, I, I love that. To me, that's the spirit yeah, of, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, why that, we do this. That, that is the spirit of it all. That, yeah. is, that is right. You know, I, I noticed when we did uh, uh, the dashi and udon this year, Michael Chang has stepped forward and he's going to get pretty involved starting next year. Mm -hmm. And um, he was just a fun guy. You know, he was yeah. he had some restaurant jargon. So when they when they when somebody placed an order for three three servings of udon, there was some restaurant style jargon and the whole kitchen was on <laughs> band and they're they're all laughing and they're having a yeah. good time and using the jargon and it was it was really a lot of fun and i guarantee you yeah. that next year he was motivating this next generation of volunteers oh, in the man. kitchen it was it was really spectacular he's counting down i already been here 25 new professors 25 new no this i'm going to make it so fun like michael i don't need other shifts i will do it i've had people that said i'll stay right and i've had people stay for three shifts because it's, like, it's fun this is fun yeah I would, that's what you said i know that's what you said yeah it's boring somewhere else and I could see it's going to work under his under his leadership it really well because people are going to want to go yeah. have fun and use that restaurant jargon yeah. that he used you know in the kitchen it was just a lot of fun Absolutely. so I had a good time so you know I I will be happy to go there next year you yeah. know as a volunteer again you know it's it's uh, it, it'll be it'll be 
great. Yeah, it'll be great. Absolutely. Yeah. That's like that's like everything I believe in baseline as a human being. Yeah. I'm just yeah, like, yeah. yeah, you are doing this really important thing. You're carrying on tradition. You're doing all these like really important things, but it doesn't mean that you can't have fun along the way. And that is the thing that brings people together to, to make these things happen. It doesn't have to be that heavy. If it's fun and, and light, yeah. you, people will continue to come and, and you know, their kids will come and then the parents will come and then the grandparents will come because the kids are there. Yeah. And it's a, it's a real snowball, yeah. I, I really feel. And I think the Venice Japanese Community Center has captured whatever they've captured and it continues to go. That makes it special. Yeah, and it's 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 nice to feel part of a special organization and, and a special group. Absolutely. Think, so. I think what really changed my perspective is what you said in the beginning. I'm doing this because I'm not a cook, but I'm doing this because I want to keep this thing going, and this is the way that. George Asawa made it and I want to make it like him because I want to keep that alive and keep it going. I want to keep those ratios good or as close as I can to it because I want to honor that. I've never heard of that. I always think of numbers as just numbers, you know, but this is more than just numbers. It's like I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep this as close as I can to the source. And I think that's so respectful. That's so amazing to hear. George passed this on to myself and Jun Oyama, and together we marched, you know, holding hands, trying to keep keep this thing going. And believe it or not, I look forward to it every year. I look forward to us getting together, everybody getting together. That has been 25 years of fun for me. And you know, and then you know, I see other people in the community. Hey, God, I can't wait till the festival. We're, you know, you're going to make me go. Are you the chef this year? I, oh yeah, I'm the chef. Don't worry. But, but really, what they're saying is, thank you, Community Center, for being here. Thank you for doing all this stuff. Thanks for keeping these traditions alive. Uh, but it is, it is the bowl of udon, or is it really all the other stuff that yeah. is behind this bowl of udon? Thousands of people are behind this udon, and this is just saying, hey, you know, this is what every, this is what 10,000 people just did over the last. I think the community center is 100 years old now. That's what it is. That's what it's, you are absolutely correct. That is what it's all about, yeah, tradition. So. Mm -hmm. I really appreciated your time and company, and I hope you come back to the Shokudo. It's, it's been an absolute blast. Well, George Asawa and I both enjoyed it today. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. <laughs>